what is up guys and welcome back to my channel so today's video as you can tell by the title I purchased a mannequin head that was too big so let me tell y'all what happened I purchased this 360 frontal and I got a couple of bundles to try to attempt to make a wig I went to the beauty supply store and I purchased two mannequin heads one was the white foam head then the second one was like one of the display mannequin heads so I purchased those two thinking like just in case one doesn't work whenever I try to make this wig I'm gonna be able to use the other one I purchased like the clamp stand and everything I was ready to make the wig I put this head on this mannequin onto the stand and I was like sizing it and everything whenever I compared this one to the white foam head the white foam head was bigger and of course I know my head is bigger so I'm gonna go with the bigger one not knowing that it was still not big enough so I went ahead and I made the wig on the white foam mannequin and when I'm trying to put the wig on it's too small like it's like from the sides it's probably like this much off first of all it took me forever I was watching YouTube videos to see like people's different methods of making them and everything but I wasn't thinking because of the fact that I'm using like a stretchy cap I wasn't thinking like dang it might be too small I'm gonna show y'all what the wig looks like I made it a couple of weeks ago so I would and I just put it in a pony like it's not anything fancy I just put it up so it wouldn't get messy but this is what the wig looks like however it is too small so now I'm like I just spent my whole life making this wig and it's too small that led me to go on Amazon to purchase like a uh, mannequin heads or a canvas it's called a canvas mannequin head or canvas mannequin or whatever I went on Amazon and purchased this head to make a wig and y'all can see it's 25 inches but 25 inches is too big I went on Amazon I was looking through reviews on different ones like a lot of people were saying because they'll say that they're made of like is it polyurethane or something like that um, but some people would say that whenever they receive it in the mail it's like it's foam which that's really not what you want if you're purchasing a canvas head like I believe you should be able to like wash them or something somehow so that you know the the foam doesn't get destroyed I guess to begin with I never measured my head like the circumference of my head mind you I'm still being lazy and I don't go get the measuring tape so I'm immediately on Amazon considering the fact that I wanted to do this wig this weekend I just went on Amazon and I try to get the biggest mannequin head that I could the mannequin head comes into the mail like the next day and I, I take the wig and I know it's not gonna fit but I'm just trying to see if the um like the lace frontal would like at least go over it so I'm trying to stretch that thing across this entire 25 inch dome and it is not like I can't even get the back on without the front coming off or vice versa so now I'm like really mad I done went through all of this ordering this wig took all this time to make this wig and then I finally order a mannequin and now the mannequin head is too big so I go to the store I get a measuring tape and I measure my head turns out that the size mannequin head that I should have purchased would have been a 24 inch um, mannequin. I measured my, the circumference of my head and I have like 23 and a half. So the 25 inch mannequin head was like way too big. Like I shouldn't have even did that. So now I'm like dang. I'm pretty sure if I would have ordered a 24 inch this too small wig would have been able to kind of fit better because I know that the 360 degree frontal um, actually comes it comes down on my head like I tested it out before I even made the wig so I knew that it would fit I just didn't get the right mannequin head so yeah what I did because I was pressed for time it's the weekend and I'm supposed to be done with this 
wig at this point. I don't have enough time to like send it back to get another mannequin head and beauty supply stores do not sell these canvas heads. Like you have to order them. Nor do they sell like the mannequin stands, like the little tripod stands. They don't sell those either. The only ones that they sell are like the clamps that you put onto like a countertop or something. So I'm going on YouTube like praying that I can find some way to like stretch this wig. One of the videos um, that I saw, she suggested to, to stretch the wig out to cut holes into the cap that you're adding to the wig. Y'all, I tried everything like trying to stretch this wig out. So I took that advice and thank goodness, like that was a good tip, but in this case, it still didn't work for me. And I tried to cut big holes because I really didn't want to redo this. I'm gonna show y'all. So this is the 360. You can see the tan color is all around. So this would fit onto my head. And then you have to add the middle piece, like so the bundle's on, so you use a stocking cap to do that. So as far as stretching this wig out, she suggested to put holes in it, which y'all see my holes there. I tried putting holes in this. It did not fit. I'm like, oh my gosh. Like, I have to make this thing over again. Like, y'all, it took me forever because this was my first time. And I really wanted it to be, like, perfect, kind of. Because I'm like, I might not ever do this again. 360 lace frontals are expensive. Bundles are expensive, so for me to be spending a couple hundred dollars on, uh, um, on like a wig and experiment, like, nah, I need that to come out right, right now. <laughs> so now, since I am pressed for time and I need to make this wig because I plan on wearing this, I had to go on YouTube again. This girl, um, had a video of how to... I think the video is like how to stretch your wig, which is why I clicked on it. But she actually was showing a way to make your mannequin head bigger if it's too small. This is what the girl did. She stated that she was laying fabric around the circumference of the head so much to where whenever you got a tape measure to measure it, it matches the size of the head, your head that you actually need to make the wig. So what I did was I cut up this shirt. It was like a button down shirt. And I cut it all the way across from end to end in long strips. If the strips were fat, I kind of like folded them to make them a little thicker so that this process wouldn't take so long. And I just kept wrapping it around, like going around the whole thing, just going around. So then, um, this yellow slash green color that you see is duct tape. Y'all see, I tried to get it to match my background. <laughs> anyway, so I put the fabric around and it measured out to, I measured it to, and it was the exact size of my head. I measured 23 and a half. But whenever I noticed whenever I started to lay the duct tape on it, like at first I was just pinning it down in the sections at the ends of the strips. But then I was like, okay, I gotta duct tape it down. Since the duct tape makes it really tight, the size may become smaller. So after I put the duct tape on, I measured it and it seemed like it was at like 23 and a half. So I was like, let me just Put like one more layer around here just to be on the safe side so I did that and then I covered everything with duct tape as you can see now the other thing that I want to call out I don't know if many people have issues whenever they're wearing their 360 frontals like in the back making it come like making sure that it comes down far enough what I did was I took an extra piece of fabric it was like the sleeve of the shirt and I like folded it it was a little piece and I kind of like just added it right here to make this piece a little thicker so whenever I'm making the wig and I'm pulling it down I would actually be able to match it up with you know 
mine, my kitchen back here in the back. So I just did that to make it thicker, to be sure that as far as making it as big as possible, that everything is covered. So that's what I did. If you found this video helpful, be sure to hit that like button so I know that you enjoyed it. Um, and you can also leave me a comment and let me know if you tried it out or if you had any other methods of, you know, expanding your wig or what you would do to fix your mannequin. So I will be sending that big mannequin head back um, and I'll try to get a smaller one. But for now, the one that I actually made, whenever I test it out on this wig that I'm about to make, which will be the next video, y'all be sure to stay tuned for that. I'll be making the wig with this mannequin head that I just showed you guys, and hopefully it comes out right. If it does, then maybe I don't have to purchase another mannequin head. Maybe I could just be DIY Brent. Like, I hope you guys enjoyed that video. Stay tuned for me making this wig. And I also have to take it down, so I'll probably add that in the video as well. But if you would like to watch the tutorial, be sure to stay tuned. Hit that subscribe button below. And that's all for today, guys.